everyone. Thanks for joining Game Trade Media at Alliance Open House. I'm Gretchen, and I'm here with Matt from Bezier Games. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. All right, so what do you have for us? So I brought our newest and my new favorite game from <laughs> Bezier. Um, it's called Silver. Mm -hmm. And so Silver is a game uh, where essentially you're going to have five face-down cards in front of you. At the beginning of the game, you're going to view two of these cards. Uh, you only get to you know a uh, little less than half of what you have, so you're going to spend the rest of the game uh, drawing cards from the discard pile that other players discard, or taking cards from a draw pile and either exchanging them with cards you have in front of you, or putting them down to use their ability. Now, your ultimate goal in this game is to have the lowest total in front of yourself. And so you'll have a lot of cards that'll help you do it. So you'll have low value cards, which you're gonna wanna probably keep in exchange and try to have in front of yourself because you want that low total um, because the numbers on these cards are, believe it or not, related to werewolves. Ooh. I know, I know, surprise. Spooky. It's a werewolf. And, and you don't want any werewolves in your village because you want to have the best village around. Nobody wants werewolves in their village. <laughs> um, and so you're going to use these low cards to obviously stock your uh, village in front of yourself and try to get that low total. And then these high cards are going to have some really cool powers that you'll be able to discard them if you draw them uh, and use their powers to either manipulate other players' cards or uh. manipulate your cards and try to get that low total. Um, and so we even have one really card. She's one of my favorites. She's the 13. And so she's called the doppelganger, which means she's going to match any card. She's essentially a wild card, which is important because the other way to get rid of points in the game is to exchange cards that are the same. So as you're playing, you're going to try to build sets of numbers that are the same in front of yourself because instead of just exchanging one card and taking this card and exchanging it for, let's say, this card, you could turn in cards that are the same. So if these are the same number or even these are the same number, you can lower the total number of cards you have have because you'll be able to discard cards that are the same together. Um, so if I, if I discarded a bunch of cards, I'd have three and you'd have five, I'm in pretty good shape. <laughs> and so once you've lowered your total uh, cards to four or less, you mm -hmm. can call for the vote. And you're saying, I think my village is better than yours. I think I have less werewolves. Oh. Um, and mm -hmm. if I call for the vote and I'm right, no matter what I have in front of myself, I'm going to get zero for that round, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, but if I'm wrong and for some reason you're able to take your last turn because after I call, you'll get one more turn. Um, and do something to either add points to me or take points away from yourself. And I'm wrong. I take what's in front of myself and I have to add 10 to it. Oh, that's yeah. not good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those werewolves really bite. If you, uh, if you make a mistake, they really, really bite. And so it plays a total of four rounds. Mm -hmm. And so it's really cool because it plays differently with two and four players. Uh, it plays two to four. So two, three, and four all feel pretty different, which I really like in a game because me and my wife like to play games together a lot. But also we like to be able to include other people, especially games like this that are so easy to pick up and learn but have so much depth to them um, and it's also going to be one of my other favorite things about our silver card game is it's going to be the first in a series of games okay um, so if you're familiar enough with the one night games they're all standalones but they can all be mixed and matched together oh that's cool mm -hmm. and so this is going to fit that same same idea and so you'll be able to have the b deck which is going to be coming out in october um, and it's going to have a whole new set of cards, 0 to 13, all with their own unique abilities. So it's a standalone game, mm -hmm. but you can take your favorite abilities from this and exchange it in here. So if you like the 5s and 6s from this one better than this, you can take them and put them into this deck. Or you can even do cool stuff, like we've been doing stuff at the office where we do odds and evens. So we'll do the odds from this deck and the evens from this deck. That's really um, neat. Yeah, so it gives it that variety and so much replayability um, just by adding another deck in there. And we're going to continue to support the title as well. So this is the second one. Um, we have the C deck coming, and I won't reveal what the C, <laughs> the C is going to stand for yet. But no this spoilers. One's the, yeah, no spoilers <laughs> yet for the C deck. But I really, really am excited for that one as well. Um, so if you want to, we could play a quick, uh, quick couple turns of this. Sure. All right. So one of the neat things uh, is it comes with a neat little reference card. So I'm going to slide it in front of you. Um, so you'll have the front and back. So this tells you what you can do on a turn, and this is going to tell you what all the symbology on all the different cards may mean. So you're always going to deal four hands of cards, and that's because it keeps it, uh, keeps it a little, little interesting because that means that there's going to essentially be five cards that will not be in the game. All right, and so you want to arrange them in front of yourself um, and orientate them. Uh, just kind of spread them out. Don't look at them yet, because you're only going to get to look at two of them, and you're only going to get to kind of look at them one time until you get a card that'll let you uh, do something else. Okay. All right. And so I'm going to put this in front of you. So this is going to let you go first. It's going to show you're the first player. Um, so on your turn, you have two choices until you lower your total uh, cards, is you can either take this card and bring it in front of yourself, 
uh, and exchange it with one of your cards. Or you can take the draw card, look at it, and decide secretly if you would like to use its power or if you want to exchange it with a card in front of yourself. But before we do that, go ahead and peek at two of your cards. And if you want to show them to the, the camera, I'll look away so I won't see all right, them. All right, all and right. you can show everybody the two cards you look at. That one and that one. OK, and then and I'm going to so. secretly peek at my two cards. And I'm not going to show you guys what my cards are. <laughs> um, OK, and so. You can either take this card or this card. The only reason you may want to take a five, because the ability on it's not going to matter, uh, because it's in the discard pile. If it's in front of you, it also doesn't matter. It's just worth its value. Um, but if you saw that maybe you had a five, or one of the cards that you saw was a five, you may want to bring this in front of yourself, so next turn you can turn in multiple cards. Mm. Uh, but if not, I always recommend taking from the draw pile, because it gives you the best, best set of options. I'm going to take from the draw pile. All righty. All right. Do I look at the card? Yes, you'll secretly look at it. I'll try not to look over. I'm not a cheater. Um, so you'll look at it secretly. If it has this symbol on the bottom, you can discard it to use its ability. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, and it's a low value card, you can exchange it for one of the ones in front of you. All right, I will exchange it. And the one you exchange it will go face up to the discard pile. Uh, just start a new pile? Nope, yep, straight yep, on top right of that. On Perfect, all right. all right. Bam. And then I did not see a 12 over here, so I don't want to take that but I will draw a card secretly. Oh, okay. And so I have this card, and I want to use its ability because I drew it and discarded it immediately. It lets me turn one of my cards face up. Ooh, and that's a bad one. That's a pretty high value card. Looks so like a bad dude. Yeah, he is. He's the master. So he's kind of cool. If I had drawn him and discarded him immediately, he lets me shuffle through the discard pile and grab any card that oh. I like. Oh. Um, so he's pretty cool. All right. So then I go again. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all you. So... Mm. All right, so I know what those are. Uh, I'm going to go here. And... I won't peek, I promise. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and discard that one so I oh, can... Actually, oh, no. this one you want to bring into your village. Uh, oh. So her ability is one of the ones that has to be in your village to use. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to bring her into your village face down, and what your goal is is to get her face up to use her power. Okay. Okay. So you want to swap Got her with this. one of your higher value cards. I will I will do that then. Let's go. Mm, I'm going to say this one. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so getting rid of points. Got this. Got mm -hmm. this. We're doing this. And so if you get a card like the Exposer and you would put that card down, you would then be able to turn uh -huh. your two face up. And then every turn that that two is face up, you can view one of your cards. Yes. So that's a really good one to have. I'm pretty jealous that you have that one. Ooh, but I have a card that's going to let me... Look at one of mine. Okay, perfect. All right. Ooh, I'll look away. All right, and you know what? I am. I'm gonna take a bit of a gamble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap it out with one you don't know for this one. Oh, Ooh, that, that paid off. Yeah, that totally yes. did. Uh, but uh, then, then you look back and you're like, oh man, if I'd known I had two twelves, I could have turned them in together. But That's you didn't true. know that one, you know. Working on it. All right, so I'm going to keep this one, and I'm actually going to turn these in because I believe they're the same number. So if I turn them up and they're the same number, mm -hmm. I get to be down to four cards. If I turn them up and for some reason I've gotten confused and this is not a 10, I have to add all the cards back into my village, and I will actually have six cards. So I'm going to turn it up. Yes. <laughs> all right, we do. We got two 10s, so I can totally put them out together. And now, if I wanted to, I could call for the vote at any point, and that means that you will get one more turn. But I, I still don't know one of my cards, so I probably <laughs> won't do that quite yet. All right, all right, so. Here. All right, I'm gonna swap that out for this one. Oh, nice, you're getting a lot of high point cards gone out of your hand, I'm getting a little worried. Okay, I'm gonna exchange it for one I don't know. Oh, no. So that's a pretty good one. And because it's in the discard pile, if you take it, you actually get to take it face up. So its ability is is activated. Ooh, OK. So take that one. I still have to discard one, right? Yep, you'll still exchange a card out. All right. 
believe. Oh, nice. Wow, you're probably there. getting under a low total. And so the one does something really neat. So he's going to add us a third option. Instead of just draw a pile and discard pile, we're actually going to have this as a choice as well. Mm -hmm. um, but the cool thing about this is it counts as if it's part of the draw pile. So if it has that symbol, you can put it into the discard pile to use that card's ability. Because, ooh, I think... I know one of these. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not, I was trying to exchange it, so I had two eights, and I accidentally got confused and exchanged it for my eight. All right. I believe that these two are the same cards. Okay. So you'll want to look at this one first, because you'll have to keep a card to get rid of cards. So you have to make sure it's a card you want to keep before you want to get rid of those ones. Oh, no. I don't want to keep this one. Okay. Uh -huh, place him. So you discard him, so you can use that ability. And if you remember where your two ah. was, perfect. Ah. And so now, including this turn, every turn you get to view one of your cards. So you can view one oh. of your face down oh. cards. Ah. Which I would have liked to have, because then I might not have made my mistake <laughs> over here and got confused with my eights. Okay. Play the witch. And so she lets me view this top card. And if I like it, I can keep it. And if I don't like it, I can exchange it. And because I'm going to go ahead and exchange it for that eight that I accidentally ended up with. All right. Mm. I'm going to play that one down. Oh, that's a great one. All right. So two You'll of You'll know cards. all of your cards I now. I will. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to say that I am very confident that these two cards are the same. And I'm confident because I had 13, which matches everything. And so no matter what I turned oh. in with the 13, it always matches. And so that's one of the, my favorite things about the 13. The bad thing is if you have it at the end, though, it's worth 13 points. So you have to be <laughs> really, really careful with that card. Really careful. Okay. So, hmm. All right, I'm going to place that one down. That lets me view one of yeah, your cards. Yeah, you may view any of my cards that you'd like. All right. All right, and I'm going to go ahead, and because I feel like I have the lowest total, I feel like I got you beat, even though you have a couple low cards up, I'm going to call for the vote. And so you're okay. going to get to take one more turn, and uh, you can take whatever you want. You can do whatever you want on your turn. You can, if you get a card that lets you mess with my card, you can totally do that. <laughs> uh, if you get a card that might be a good one, you can exchange it with some of yours. But you get mm. one more turn, and then we're going to turn our cards up and count what we have. All right. Ooh, okay, so I am going to take this one, and I am going to get rid of this one and this oh, one. Oh, nice. Nicely done. All right. Getting rid of cards. Now I'm worried. Getting rid of extra cards at the end always concerns me. All right, so now we'll turn all our cards face all up. Right. And I had 10. And you had nine. nine. So you beat me. So <laughs> I actually would have 20 <laughs> points. I'd have to take 20 points for the round. You would just take your, your oh. nice measly little nine. Uh, and then we'd play a total of four rounds. And that's really, really cool. Because um, you noticed as we were discarding cards, mm -hmm. you could always kind of take what I discarded. But if we were playing with four people, you'll notice cards get buried more. Oh, and yeah. so cards like the 10 that let you pick through the discard pile become way more important. Um, so it's really, really cool. It's got a lot of, lot of choices mm -hmm. and a lot of strategies in it. That's awesome. What would you think? What would you feel? I, that was fun. Oh, I, cool. I liked it. I, I felt like it, it was high stakes towards getting towards the end there mm -hmm. because I knew that I had such low cards. But I didn't feel – I was like, oh, man, I don't quite want to get rid of these even though they match because I would have to trade them out for something that would probably be more valuable. Mm -hmm. And um, then you watch <laughs> kind of the, the cards that are coming through and you're like, oh, well, there's also these cards that weren't in the game. And so one of the oh, one of the thirteen oh, and one of the zeros weren't even in play, so we didn't have the opportunity for those <laughs> some of these to come up, which is what I really really like. And so um, a couple of the other cool things I always like to brag on uh, the design of things. So if you notice, um, it, we make it super easy to mix and match. So this is the insert for the game, and so it has all of your cards spanned so out. So organized. Yeah, number by number. <laughs> so you can say, okay, I want the fours out of this one, and you can just reach in and say, I'm just going to take the fours out. And it's super easy to get your cards and keep them nice and organized. The other cool thing is uh, you can actually sleeve your cards and the insert still works. So that's, I'm a big card sleeve guy. I mean, most big gamers are super into card <laughs> sleeving because um, they take so much wear and tear. So the, the insert still works for that, which 
I really, really like. I think that's a really neat, neat that's thing. That's awesome. So if if someone wanted to go and get more information, is there a website or Instagram? Yeah, or? absolutely. So we can, you can go to beziagames.com. Uh, you can also do our Facebook. Uh, we have Instagram. We do all the social media stuff. We actually do a big Fan Friday thing. So if you got some cool pictures of yourself playing some Bezier games, mm -hmm. please submit them to us. We love posting our Fan Friday pictures. Also, we have doing a lot of really cool contests. We, did a, awesome. we have a free app for Silver right now. So Silver oh, wow. Card Game, if you go search in your app store for Silver Card Game, you only can play one-on-one -on -one against the computer. Mm -hmm. But it's really, really nice because it gets you familiar with the mechanics and what the powers of each card are. So it's really fun because you can get really good and then beat your friends. Because I always like to be the winner. I mean, everybody <laughs> yeah. likes to be the winner. And then remind me, are these out? Are they coming out? When is this? Um, so Silver, uh, the original Silver A deck, the Amulet Edition, mm -hmm. is available now. Silver B, a uh, bullet deck, is going to be coming out uh, in October. So it's very shortly will be available to Soon. add and mix in. Yeah, <laughs> There's um, a lot of fun things coming out in October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a big month. I'm excited. October is a big werewolf month, too. So we, we always <laughs> love, we love October. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming out. Thank you for showing us these games. And if you want to know more, um, either go to their website mm -hmm. or your friendly local game store to find out more. And we'll see you at your friendly local game store. Thanks, guys.